Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Vapnik Shervanenki's dimension, that is Fisi dimension in machine learning with the help of a simple example. Fisi dimension is introduced by Vladimir Vapnik and Alexei Shervanenki's in 1970, and it has become one of the fundamental concepts in statistical learning theory. Fisi dimension of an hypothesis set H is the largest number of data points that can be shattered by H here. Now the question is what is shattered? An hypothesis set H shatters a set of points yes if for all possible labeling of the data points yes there exists a hypothesis in H that correctly classifies the data points. Let's assume that uh, we have two data points in this case. Uh, the two data points uh, can have different uh, labelings. For example, both the data points may be positive. One is positive, one is negative and both may be negative here. If there is an hypothesis in hypothesis space H, which classifies all possible labelings correctly, then you can say that the classifier shatters the given data points. And the largest number of data points which were classified correctly, that is nothing but the VC dimension in this case. Now we will take some example to understand the VC dimension. Initially, I will consider the straight line as a classifier here. So before that, uh, we will try to understand uh, the number of labelings or the classifiers here. If you have n number of uh, data points, then there exist uh, 2 raised to n different uh, classifiers or the different uh, labelings in this case. Now, if you have 2 data points, there exist uh, 4 different uh, classifiers or the labels. You can notice here. Uh, I have considered the two notations so that is green and uh, red here. Green is nothing but positive, red is nothing but a negative class here. In the first case, both of them are positive. In the second case, uh, one is positive and one is negative. Third case, one is positive and one is negative. In the fourth case, you can see here both of them are negative in this case. Now, because we are considering straight line as a classifier here, uh, in this case, we can draw a straight line something like this. The meaning of this one is above this uh, straight line, all the examples belongs to positive class. Below this, all of them belongs to negative class here. Now we are able to classify them correctly in this case. Similarly, for the remaining uh, possibilities also, we can draw a straight line so that we can classify the examples correctly in this case. So what it says is, uh, if you have two data points, uh, with the help of straight line, we can classify them correctly in this case. Now coming back to the next possibility, let's assume that we have three data points. 2 raised to 3 is equal to how many? 8 different classifiers or the labelings exist here. That is what has been shown in this uh, diagram. All three are positive, two are positive, one is negative, two are positive, one is negative and last one is all of them are negative in this case. Now in this case, uh, uh, again we are considering the straight line as a classifier here. Uh, for the first one, if you draw the straight line something like this, above this straight line all of them are positive examples, below this all of them are negative examples. Here we can draw a straight line so that uh, we can classify the examples correctly here. The same thing can be done for uh, all these particular possibilities. The meaning of this one is, uh, we have an hypothesis in hypothesis space which classifies the three data points correctly with the help of straight line in this case. Coming back to the next one, that is uh, four data points. If you have four data points, the total number of possibilities are 16 here. They were shown in this uh, diagram. In this case, some of the labelings were classified correctly, some of them cannot be classified. For example, we can classify these labelings correctly here. We can classify these labelings also. But if you look at this one, we cannot draw a straight line to classify these examples correctly. We cannot draw it here, we cannot draw it here, or we cannot draw something like this. If you draw in any way, some of the examples will be incorrectly classified in this case. So that is the reason we can say that uh, if you have a straight line as a classifier, then the maximum number of data points that can be shattered in two dimensional space is three here. That is, if you have three data points, a straight line can classify those examples uh, correctly in this case. So that's the reason the VC dimension of a straight line is three in this case. Coming back to the one more uh, uh, classifier, that is. Uh, Axis aligned rectangle in this case. What is axis aligned rectangle is, if you look at this one, this is the example for axis aligned rectangle. The two edges of the rectangle are parallel to the axis of a given coordinate system in this case. Now we can see here this one is parallel to x axis, this one is parallel to y axis in this case. Now what we do is we will start with the same example, we will start with the two data points 
if you have two data points then there are four different uh, labelings or the classifiers exist uh, the same thing what we have uh, seen in uh, the previous example i am considering the same four possibilities here uh, we can draw a rectangle in this case in such a way that uh, uh, anything within the rectangle is a positive class anything outside the rectangle is a negative class over here now you can notice here all uh, four of them were classified correctly in this case now we'll start with the uh, three data points there are totally eight uh, different uh, possibilities are there i have shown all eight possibilities over here again we can draw a rectangle something like this in this case also we were able to classify all eight different uh, labelings correctly the meaning of this one is uh, uh, the classifier has shattered the three data points in this case coming back to the four data points four data points means what 16 possibilities these are the 16 possibilities over here in this case also we can draw a rectangle in such a way that all uh, 16 examples were classified correctly here i hope you can see those particular rectangles in this case now if you start with uh, five data points five means what totally 32 uh, different uh, possibilities are there in this case uh, uh, some of them will be classified correctly some of the uh, cases were not been classified correctly in this case because of that we can say that the maximum number of data points shattered by axis aligned rectangle in two dimensional space is four the meaning of this one is the vc dimension of axis aligned rectangle is equal to four here now we will discuss a few applications of vc dimension the vc dimension has a wide range of applications in machine learning as well as in statistics for example vc dimension can be used to analyze the complexity of neural networks support vector machines decision trees or any other classifiers in this case VC dimension can also be used to design the new learning algorithm similar to neural network support vector machine and decision tree we can design a new learning algorithms with the help of VC dimension that are robust to noise that is uh, they can handle uh, the data set with the noise and can generalize the well to unseen data the VC dimension can be extended to more complex learning scenarios such as multi class classification as well as regression in this example, I have shown the VC dimension with uh, two class classification, but uh, it can be extended to uh, solve the multi class classifications as well as the regression problems here. So, these are uh, some of the applications of uh, VC dimension. So, in this video, I have discussed what is uh, VC dimension uh, with the help of a simple example. Also, I have discussed what are the different applications of uh, VC dimension. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.